my role at West Bromwich Albion is a, a part analysis and part coaching role. Um, so some part of my week is taken up um, with the filming of games and also the editing and analysing of those games and distribution of DVDs to the players. And then the rest of my week is taken up coaching age groups and across the course of the week I work with boys from 7 to 15, 16 years of age. Um, a focus at this le level would be um, would be very much based around the indivi individual, uh, so individual tricks and skills, um, individual ball control, uh, the passing details, um, just lots and lots of basic things, all based around that that single player, um, and then also just putting it into a fun games and putting it into a fun environment so they they enjoy the experience. Um, no, it would definitely be based around the individual. Um, if they all played a similar position, that would be fine with that. We don't really isolate a player to a set position, except for a goalkeeper at a young age. So in our 9s, 10s, 11s games programme, players will be shared around and play lots of different positions. Um, and what we look for really in the players is just, would be an outstanding attribute in one of the four corners of development. So it would either be a technical attribute, a tactical attribute, um, which would be very, very doubtful at that age, but uh, a physical attribute or a mental attribute. Um, and if they're outstanding in one of those areas, we'd look to bring them in no matter what their position. Very little emphasis. Um, we, we're willing to sacrifice the results uh, across pretty much most of our age groups for better player development and to get across our style of play and our philosophy. Um, what we do try and ingrain in them is a winning mentality and we try and incorporate that into training sessions and also by taking the boys away on tour and to play, take part in tournaments and when we do go on tour there is a different emphasis and we do actually go to, to look to win um, but on a Sunday and on a general games programme very little emphasis is put on the result. Um, yes we do, um, we call it our club DNA and right the way through from our first team all the way down to the young age we've tried to play in a similar way. Like I said previously our 9s to 11s or our 7s to 11s age group programme is based around individual ability and individual skill. Um, then once you get to the 11 aside game we start to base it a little bit more around combining as a group, combining as units um, and our club DNA is, is based around us playing out from the back playing through the thirds, uh, managing the ball through the mid-third, and then quick, clever attacking play. Um, again, coming back to our four corners, really, that we look for, I think at this stage now, uh, the mental corner needs to be covered and they need to be focused and spot on, and if we have any doubts over them mentally, about their application or their desire, um, they wouldn't be offered a scholarship. Um, once they've got that, then we'd probably look for an outstanding attribute again. So if it's a boy who technically still needs to develop, then coming into the full-time environment, we think we can, we can help him in that and tactically. Um, uh, and obviously if he's got physically outstanding attributes, then, then he'd be offered. If it's a boy who um, is outstanding technically, uh, he could still be offered a scholarship and we look to help him through our sports science programme to get those physical attributes, um, but also just, just working on his strengths and becoming the best that he can be. Um, no, not really. Um, I think it takes all different types of players and we look a lot at Barcelona and we aspire to play the same way and produce players that Barcelona have produced and I think eight of their starting 11 have come through their academy. But you have the likes of um, Keita um, and Busquets, who are big, strong, physical types. And then you have your Bojans and your Pedros, who are small, technical, gifted players. So I think you have to be versatile and you have to differentiate in your programme to cover all types. Um, we do work to a prescribed um, schedule yet. We have a technical program which was put in place five years ago by Dan Ashworth and, and now through with Mark Harrison as the academy director. 
uh, and this technical program basically gives us guidelines on what to work on but the structure of the session and the actual planning of the session is what we, we undertake ourselves as coaches and it's really really versatile and it's excellent because across the course of the season we work on all different types and all different parts of the game um, so yeah it, it, is, it is in place but as a coach you still have a lot to lead yourself and, and a lot for your personal development as well. Yes, um, so we use the video analysis department and the video analysis tool quite closely. Um, I think it's good coming into video analysis from a coaching background because you always look at it from the player's perspective and, and you, you make sure what you're doing is relevant. Some people come into it from a, a statistical background and, and sometimes you get bogged down with all the stats and stuff. Um, so it is an important tool and we, look, we like to show our, our young players individual clips of them doing things excellently things that they might be able to do better uh, and also their role models doing things um, that they can aspire to use um, and then also then with our older boys more tactical overview so showing them uh, different positions that they should have taken up or what they did well um, so we use it for strengths and for weaknesses to show them that feedback um, we also have a very strong sports science department um, and the use of fitness testing um, and heart rate monitors and stuff like that goes on across the course of the week at the, uh, in the academy programme and it's a very, very useful tool. To, uh, to practice and to work extremely hard because um, you see a lot of academies now bringing players in from overseas and, and we have a very strong um, local recruitment policy at West Brom but you've got to remember that there's African boys who are training seven days a week and eight hours a day. The Spanish are exactly the same. The contact hours that they're getting are phenomenal. So just get out and practice. Um, make the ball your best friend and, and work to improve all types of skills and all different aspects of your game.